Stark left these for you. Really? Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Stark said you wouldn't get that because it's not a Star Wars reference. <laughs> when you lose the mask, everyone here has seen you without it. You'd only be feigning anonymity and breathing through spandex for no good reason. Come on. Maria Hill. That is Dimitri. And this is Mr. Beck. Mysterio? What? Doesn't matter. It's just what my friends have been calling you. Well, you can call me Quentin. But you handled yourself well out there today. We saw what you did with the tower. We could use someone like you on my world. Thanks. I'm sorry, your world? Uh, Mr. Beck is from Earth, just not yours. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Because I thought that was just theoretical. I mean, that completely changes how we understand the initial singularity. We're talking about an eternal inflation system, and how does that even work with all the quantum? <laughs> it's insane. Sorry. It's really cool. Don't ever apologize for being the smartest one in the room. Anyway. They were born in stable orbits within black holes, creatures formed from the primary elements, air, water, fire, earth. The science division had a technical name. We just called them elementals. Versions of them exist across our mythologies. Turns out the myths are real. Like Thor. Thor was a myth and now I study him in my physics class. These myths are threats. They first materialized on my Earth many years ago. We mobilized and fought them, but with each battle they grew, got stronger. I was part of the last battalion left trying to stop them. All we did was delay the inevitable. The elementals are here now, attacking the same coordinates. Our satellites confirm it. So thank Mr. Beck for destroying the other three. There's only one left, fire. The strongest of them all, the one that destroyed my Earth. It's the one that took my family. I'm sorry. And it will be in Prague in approximately 48 hours. We have one mission. Kill it. And you're coming with us. I'm sorry, did you say Prague? <laughs> Mr. Fury, this all seems like big time. You know, huge superhero kind of stuff. And, I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, sir. Bitch, please, you've been to space. I know, but that was an accident, sir. Come on, there's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Okay, um, Doctor Strange. Unavailable. Captain Marvel. Don't invoke her name. Sir, look, I really wanna help, I do. But if my aunt finds out I left my class trip, she's gonna kill me. And if I'm seen like this in Europe after the Washington Monument, my whole class will figure out who I am, and then, and then the whole world will figure out who I am, and then I'm done. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry, what? Why don't you get back before your teachers miss you and become suspicious? Dimitri, take him back to the hotel, please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Fury. And, uh, good luck. See you, kid. Yeah, see ya. Bye, ma'am. Yeah. 